Kenya's Rift Valley is best known for its Stone Age past, but one company has made an investment in the future. Using space age technology, US-based Ormat Technologies delivers clean electricity and hope to some of the most marginalized people in the world. This is Hell's Gate National Park on the Rift Valley. And oddly enough, in the center of this park is where Kenya generates about a fifth of its entire electrical capacity. Only in a few places on the planet does the crust get thin enough to create this type of geothermal energy. I'm proud to be associated with the um, development of geothermal in Kenya, and particularly the development of the first private geothermal power plant in Africa. Uh, this is a, a plant that uh, is showing the way for Kenya and uh, for investors into Kenya as well. In this country of 38 million people, Ernest Mabwa and his 30 Kenyan staff are powering their own energy revolution. That the peak demand for the entire country has about uh, 1,180 megawatts. And, and you compare it to the potential for our carrier area, which is about 3,000 megawatts, then basically we're saying geothermal power can, uh, once developed, be able to supply fully our immediate needs and our growth as we go along. This is the Okaria area of the Rift Valley. In the local Maasai language, it means hot place. Its modern name, Hell's Gate National Park, home to sweeping vistas, giraffes, zebras, pipelines, and shooting jets of steam. Geothermal power has been tapped here since the 1970s, and somehow the plumes of clean steam and sweeping vistas are an apt backdrop to where the buffalo roam. Where we are is within uh, Hell's Gate National Park. The need to therefore be conscious of the uh, biodiversity and ecosystem is critical. Uh, if you love wildlife and outdoors like I do, then this is just perfect. ORMAT's proprietary groundbreaking technology is called a binary system, and it's used by no one else in the industry. It enables the company to extract energy from wells that would otherwise be non-productive. Yeah, there, there are other companies that have um, uh, tried to develop uh, similar systems, but they have not been successful. OMAT has been successful in uh, developing uh, the binary system and um, putting together a, a, a plant and system for the entire field that enables not only extraction of the resource, but at the same time it's uh, re-injection of the wastewater back to the similar depth. I am standing underneath about 50 megawatts of electric power. This is the epicenter of Africa's earth energy movement. And this type of geothermal power is something that could power the rest of this country and maybe even two of its neighbors. On average, most of the wells you'll find in this area will run between um, two and a half to about three and a half kilometers in depth. So you're actually extracting a resource deep down in the Earth's crust. Where tectonic plates meet in the Rift Valley, the crust thins and magma from the Earth's mantle comes into contact with groundwater, creating pressurized gas and liquid that can be tapped and harnessed to drive turbines, creating electrical energy. Geothermal energy is clean energy. It's, it's a resource that is natural, and if you manage it well, it's renewable. In other words, you replenish the aquifer as you go along. Ormat is getting more than energy from the Rift Valley. It's also getting potential future employees, too. A local initiative to educate more girls in the community could lead to bigger things. Some of the first girls that we sponsored are currently in university. And indeed, um, there, there would be opportunities for them to come and work for us. And therefore, be almost immediate uh, role models for the local community to understand the benefits of taking a girl child to school. Ormat invested $150 million in its power plant, and estimates say it can save 120,000 tons of imported oil and eliminate 200,000 tons of CO2 emissions a year. That's good for Kenya and good for the Earth, too. Developing a clean energy that is natural uh, is uh, critical for the future development of man. Failing that, there is that scenario that 
perhaps we could actually be uh, going into extinction. So it's only right that geothermal power within the Rift Valley would help enhance and develop mankind.